Uh, ice body. Oh, you gain HP in hail. I think hail is just a little bit too niche. I think hail teams are too uncommon. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in. I have to speed up a little bit. It's too meme -y. Yeah. I think it's C tier, honestly. I guess it's good on stall rain. I don't know. Maybe it's low B tier. I don't really care. Um, Ice face is like disguise, but a little different. I mean, it's what makes this Pokemon good. It's really good in hail, but it also only pr protects against physical moves. So it's definitely, it's worse than disguise most of the time. I'm going to put this in B tier. It's really good with belly drum, but belly drum's an egg move. I'll put it like here. It's like it, preventing, having like a disguise against the first physical move is not terrible, but. Ice scales. Oh, ice scales have damage from special moves. That's really good. Makes this Pokemon a lot better. I'll put it in A for sure. Uh, Illuminate does nothing. Awesome. I guess it makes grinding faster. Draws in more Pokemon. Illusion is really good. Illusion with the AI a lot. You can cheese the um, Ultra Necrozma fight with Illusion, for example. Illusion f with the AI a lot, especially because it's on a uh, Zoroark. So good. I think it's S tier. If you plan and you put the right Pokemon in the last spot, like a poison type that baits out like psychic type moves, so good. Can you autofocus on me? Thank you. Immunity prevents poison. It's okay, I guess. Nothing too great. Imposter is like not bad. <laughs> Ditto would be a lot worse if it didn't have imposter. I actually think imposter is like kind of okay. I actually think it might be A tier. I think imposter is what makes Ditto viable in Nuzlocks because you don't have to spend a turn transforming. I think imposter does a lot for Ditto's viability. Uh, infiltrator goes through protect, right? Oh, I'm sorry, reflect light screen and safeguard and mist. An Aurora Veil, Never mind. Infiltrator is like really bad. Why not just use Brick Break? Super f niche. It's just you don't play against screens or substitutes that often. But I'll, I'll put it in B tier, I guess. It's just not useful a lot. Innards out is pretty good, right? It, it's like aftermath, but the damage, the amount of damage that you do is based on the amount of damage that you had left when you died. So you can like actually set this up to like kill something, kind of like an explosion. Uh, I think it's better than aftermath for sure. Uh, I, I think it's actually B tier because you can actually use this to like kill a Pokemon. Inner focus is okay. Prevents flinch. It's not bad. Uh, it's nice for fake out mons. Flinching isn't that common, but when it does happen, it's kind of nice. Insomnia prevents sleep. That's really good. Not being able to be put to sleep is really nice. It's much better than not being able to get poisoned. Put it like up here. Intimidate is S tier. Uh, I think Intimidate is one of the best abilities in the game. Not only is it on really good Pokemon usually, but even if it's not on good Pokemon, it like makes a Pokemon viable, especially in double battles. It's so good. Being able to pivot into a Pokemon and get a free minus one on the opponent is so strong. You can like use that switch. It's not like using Growl, right? It's like you, you switch and then you get your opponent to use a different move and then you switch out. At least you've pivoted, right? That's something useful. Obviously switching in the Pokemon in just taking less damage than being able to go 1v1 is really, really good. Having two Intimidate Pokemon to switch between so you can always like Intimidate something, so good. This ability on its own makes Arbok viable. This ability on its own makes Mightyena viable. It makes Stantler viable. Like it's so, it's like, it's crazy, crazy good. It's, it's what makes Gyarados like, I mean, Gyarados is a lot of other things that makes it like the best Nuzlocke Pokemon, but Intimidate is, is uh, definitely one of the things that makes it as good as it is. S plus, I don't think it's S plus, no. The S, uh, the only S plus ability is gonna be Drizzle because it's the only ability that um, completely changes the way that you play the game. I think Guts and Intimidate are better than Drought. I think Guts is better than Intimidate though. Um, This is too uh, rare. Iron Barbs deals damage on contact. That's not bad, especially on a Pokemon like Ferrothorn. I'll put it in A tier. I think that's pretty good. Especially if you combo it with Rocky Helmet, that's a lot of damage. I really like this ability. It can set up for a lot of shit too, because you can pivot into that Pokemon, have it take Iron Barb's damage, and then switch to something else, and get, which is then a range to kill it or something. I think this is a good ability for sure. Iron Fist is really nice. Uh, it boosts the power of punching moves, which Hitmonchan, for example, has a lot of. It's also really good uh, ability on like Conkholder, boosting like Mach Punch damage, Elemental Punch damage. Very, very good. I think it's an A tier ability. It's just, it, it just gives you a lot more damage output, which is really nice. Justified boosts your attack on a dark type move. It's okay. It's a little niche though. Uh, keen eye prevents your accuracy from being lowered. It's like, it's kind of like big pecs, except I think it's a little bit more useful because accuracy is kind of annoying. Yeah, 
it's, it's okay. I'll take that. It's B tier. Klutz makes you unable to use items. Is there any time when Klutz is useful? Yeah, it's for trick. I think more often than not, it's just not useful. And it just actually hurts you, so I'm gonna put it in F tier. Leaf Guard! Leaf Guard raises your defense in sun, right? Oh, I'm sorry. It prevents you from getting status in sun. That's worse. That's so niche. I think that's, that's C tier for sure. Levitate is obviously really good. A lot of Pokemon that get Levitate need it to be like more viable. Gengar Line, Bronzong, um, Lunatone, Soul Rock. I'm hesitant to put it in S tier. Um, it is the best immunity ability. That's true. I'm going to put it in low S tier because a lot of Pokemon that wheezing, a lot of Pokemon that get it actually become useful because of it. Yeah, no, that, that's actually an easy S tier. Um, being immune to ground type attacks is so damn useful. Have I been doing this for two hours? What the f- and I'm only on L. Oh god. All right, let's speed it up. Uh, Libero is the same ability as Pro- I, I'm actually gonna put this in two uncommon because it's literally only a hidden, a hidden ability on one starter who is in one game. Light metal is the opposite of heavy metal, so it makes you lighter. So it reduces low kick and grass knot damage, but also reduces heavy slam damage. I'm gonna put it in D tier because it's usually just doesn't do anything. Lightning Rod is not that good in Gen 3 or whatever because it doesn't make you immune to electric type attacks. So if you're like Lightning Rod Sea King or you're Lightning Rod Manic Trick or whatever, you're not as happy about it. But um, being immune to electric type attacks makes it a lot better. It basically gives you another immunity if you're not right on. Um, it's obviously really good on Sea King. Um, I'm gonna make it like A tier, I think. I think immunity abilities are all like really, really good. And it's one of the better ones for sure. Limber. Prevents paralysis, which is better than preventing poison, but in my opinion, worse than preventing sleep. So it's like here. Liquid ooze makes draining moves deal damage instead of healing them. That's super niche, but it's useful sometimes. I'll put it here. Uh, liquid voice turns sound moves into water moves. It makes hyper voice surf. It does nothing. Yeah, true. Long reach is what I see when I watch your you videos. If the Pokemon uses a contact move, it will not activate any effects caused by contact. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Magic Bounce is really good. Uh, Magic Bounce bounces back any like non-damaging move, basically. It's really f good. It's a little inconsistent because AI kind of inconsistently uses those moves and you could just be switching into a damaging move. So I'm not going to give it S tier, but I think it's like high A tier. The ordering here is completely messed up, by the way. I don't don't even bother to try to parse that. Um, Magic Guard is really good. Magic Guard makes you take only damage from direct damage moves. And additionally, in Gen 4, you also can't get fully paralyzed if you have Magic Guard. That's not as good as it would be in, like, competitive. But it's still really useful. Like, there's no entry hazards or anything. You're basically preventing poison damage with Magic Guard and burn damage. Um, and like sandstorm and shit like that. I think it's actually just mid A tier. <laughs> the the thing is like the reason Magic Guard is so good and competitive is because of entry hazards and all and like sandstorm being really common because of Tyranitar being like common and shit like that. But yeah, you can you can pre poison yourself too, so you can't get parrot or put to sleep. That's kind of nice. So I guess at the very least, it's better than comatose, right? Which I have in B tier. I'm actually gonna put it a little bit lower even. A uh, magician. Yeah, Magician turns every move into Thief. That's so niche. Most of the time opponents don't even have eld items. <laughs> I guess if they do, it's kind of nice. I'll put it here. Magma Veil, what the f*** is that? Wait, that's not an ability. I think they mean Magma Armor. Yeah, that means you can't get frozen. That's like so f niche. Cause like, if you're a fire type, you probably have a move to unfreeze yourself instantly anyway. Uh, Magnet Pole traps Steel types, which is really bad. But the out of battle ability of this is really, really good. So Magnet Pull makes it so that if there is a Steel type on a route, you get a 50% chance to encounter it if you lead with the Magnet Pull Pokemon. So you can actually influence your encounters with Magnet Pull. That's really useful because guess what? Steel types are really good. Having a higher than 50% chance to encounter a steel type on any route that has a steel type is really, really useful. I actually think it might be A tier. The, the inability effect doesn't matter. It's worse than Arena Trap because it doesn't work on teleport Pokemon because teleport Pokemon aren't steel types. 
I actually think this is an A tier ability because of the out of battle effect. So Marvel scale is like guts, but for defense instead of attack, which is obviously worse, but it's still pretty good. Burning your Pokemon or paralyzing your Pokemon to get a defense boost is like not like that stupid. <laughs> it's like not actually that bad. I think this is an A tier ability. I mean, Mega Launcher is okay. It increases like Dark Pulse damage, Aura Sphere damage, Aqua uh, Water Pulse. It turns Water Pulse into Surf that can confuse. It's okay, but it's also not like amazingly sick. It's just like a little bit of extra damage on your Clauncher's moves. It's, I mean, I'll take it. Toxic Recover, Burn, Melodic will carry any Gen 3 and it's pretty bannable. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, Because it is specifically on Melodic. You're right, I think it's actually S tier. Merciless. Oh, you always crit against poison targets. I think Merciless is really niche. Usually if you're using Toxapex, you're using it to do something else. Plus it's nerfed crits too. Mimicry does what? Oh, it'll change your type depending on the terrain. That's way too niche. So the thing with minus and plus is you're almost never having a Minoon and a Plusle on the same team because they usually are encounters on the same route. So I think they, in 99.99% .99 of cases, do nothing. And even if you do have both, are you really using both in a double battle? And if you if you are, is that ability really going to help you? So minus and plus, if you have minus and plus on the field, it like increases your stats. Other Pokemon have those abilities. Yeah, uh, like um, like Electrike can have it and sh and like Clink. It's way too rare that you ever get them together. And even if you do, it's just not that good. It, does, it increases your special attack by fifty percent if if a uh, Pokemon with the other abilities on the field. Mirror armor reflects stat lowering effect moves and abilities back to the user. So it's like it's like a uh, magic guard, uh, magic bounce, but worse, like way worse. No, it's not even a better clear body because it doesn't work on like Rock Tomb. Does it reflect intimidate? Yeah, yeah, it reflects Intimidate. I guess that's okay. I think that's, that sounds like low B tier to me. Put a little higher, I guess. That's probably better than Hyper Cutter. You know what? That's probably like here. I don't know. Oh, it does work on Rock Tomb? Never mind. So it is just a better clear body. It actually sounds really good. I'll put it in like A tier. That sounds pretty, pretty damn nice. Misty Surge is probably too uncommon. Mold Breaker is really good. Mold Breaker makes it so that like you can use moves and their effects um, regardless of ability of your opponent. So like you can, the most common application is obviously hitting um, levitate Pokemon with ground types. It is a little niche, but when it does work, it's it's nice. We used it to thief sh from um, sticky hold Pokemon. <laughs> um, also taunting like magic bounce Pokemon is nice with it. I don't know. I think mold breaker is a fun ability. I, it's a little niche. It's probably like high B tier. It also beats battle armor, yeah. I guess therefore it's S plus tier. Moody! Moody gives you a plus two in a random stat and a minus two in another stat, a minus one in another stat, which technically is plus one um, gained. It's just so inconsistent. It's so inconsistent. And the problem is grinding. Grinding a Pokemon with Moody is like impossible. <laughs> It's so you have to pay so much attention. Um, technically, it can it can be really good. You can get like crazy um, buffs, but you have to remember Nuzlocks are not competitive. You want consistency in Nuzlocks. You don't want like sh that can sometimes work and then f over your opponent, and then your opponent feels bad, so you have to ban it. I I, I think it's actually it's so hard to evaluate. I'm gonna actually put it in D tier. No, I think it's it can be good sometimes. I'll put it in low B. It's really hard because sometimes it's like actually useful. It's like an out kind of, right? Like if you're at like in a really bad spot, a moody Pokemon can in theory beat like almost any team. Motor Drive is an electric type immunity plus you gain an advantage out of it. So um, I'm going to put it in A tier. Uh, Moxie is really, really good. <laughs> Moxie is really good. Um, so Moxie gives you an attack boost if you kill something. That's really strong. Um, especially on a fast Pokemon. Maybe not necessarily on Scrafty, but like on Gyarados. Give it some speed EVs and just go ham. You or, or, or give it like HP and speed and just Dragon Dance once. Give it enough speed to like outspeed everything. Give it HP and defense and special defense and everything else. And then just sweep with Moxie. Really damn good. 
I think I'd still rather have Intimidate a lot of the times, but Moxie can be really f good. Multi-scale makes you take 50% damage if you're at 100% HP. That's really good, especially with setup moves. I think that's S tier for sure. Dimension Guts, the best two that are common. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Multi-type is too uncommon. Mummy basically passes the mummy ability if you make contact. So you can nullify the opponent's ability in theory, which can be good sometimes because sometimes Pokemon's abilities can be really annoying to deal with. So I actually think mummy is like, okay. Uh, natural cure cures um, status on switch out, which is really good. You can also use it with rest and sh I think it's an A tier ability for sure. Neuroforce, no idea what that is. Neutralizing gas it disables all abilities. That's pretty good. No guard makes you and your opponent never miss. Obviously insane on Machamp with Cross Chop and Stone Edge and Dynamic Punch. If you can get it, it's incredible. I almost want to put it in S tier because of the Pokemon that get it. Yeah, I'll put it in S tier. Uh, Normalize does what? No, is Normalize like really sh Normalize makes all moves used by a poke by the Pokemon with the ability act as though they were normal instead of the usual type. It lets you Thunder Wave ground types. Wow, and otherwise you give up every single bit of coverage. It's F tier, come on. Oblivious makes you not able to be attracted, which is good on 50% of attract users. I think it's C tier, I think we can agree on that. Uh, Overcoat makes you not take dam makes you not uh, susceptible to powder moves and take damage from Sandstorm and Hail, right? It's like very specific. Uh, yeah, no damage from weather, no powder moves. It's a little f niche. It's okay, I guess, sometimes. Uh, Overgrow is gonna be ranked the same as Blaze, but worse because um, grass types are not as good as fire types. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Own Tempo, immunity, to confusion is okay sometimes. Parental bond is too uncommon. <laughs> Sorry guys. Pastel veil. So it's like immunity, but it'll heal, but it's also for your allies and it'll heal poison. So it's like a better immunity. It's not way better than like immunity or anything. Where'd I put it? It's like here. Uh, Perish Body. Isn't that like really good? Oh yeah, it's Perish Song on Contact. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think that's better than Cursed Body. I think that's like, like low A tier. Pickpocket, is that the same as Magician? Was Magician also Contact only? Pickup is, in my opinion, not actually good. It's like, it doesn't do anything in my opinion. There is some items that you can get from it that are, are useful, but also getting those consistently is a huge pain. Early game King's Rock farming, like really? I guess like late game leftovers farming, it's D tier. It doesn't do anything. Pixelate is really good. Fairy type moves are really good. Turning normal type moves into fairy type moves is also really good. I don't think it's S tier or anything, but I think it's good. It's like galvanize, kind of. Plus is the same as minus. Poison heal is busted because you can poison your Pokemon before the fight and then give it leftovers and then just spam protect substitute and then you win every fight. Poison heal is insane. It's almost S plus. It's really close. Like I think it's super bannable. Yeah, it's free leftovers and you can't get status. It's insane. So poison heal heals you instead of taking damage when you're poisoned. So you can just poison your Pokemon before the fight on a wild Pokemon and then give it leftovers, give it protect, give it substitute. You don't even need those things. It can just be like an aggressive set. It can be a swords dance set. It might actually be S plus, I think. Yeah, it, it's like two free leftovers and you can't get status. I'll put it in S plus. Poison point, poison sometimes on contact, which is one of the worst. I, I think it's better than cute charm at least, but. Poison touch can poison when you make contact, which I think is better, but not by a lot. Power Construct is too uncommon. What the f is Power of Alchemy? There's no way there's actually an ability that's called that. When an ally of the Pokemon with this ability faints in battle, Power of Alchemy will be, replace, will be replaced by the fainted Pokemon's ability. That sounds really garbage. <laughs> 
That sounds so bad. Oh, this just increases your damage output by 30% in a double battle. That's like actually okay. <laughs> what was the other one that was kind of like that? I think it's good. I think that's pretty good. Oh, battery was the other one that was like that. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think battery is placed too low. Prankster is really good. Getting priority on all of your status moves and especially substitute is, I don't think it's S tier. I just think it's like quite strong. I think it's like A tier. I don't think it's S tier. It's S tier and competitive, but things aren't nearly as fast in Nuzlocke as they are in, like think of the Pokemon that get this, like, like Whimsicott or um, Lipard, like those Pokemon are already quite fast. Like you're outspeeding most of the things that you're outspeeding with those things anyway. It's kind of it's kind of the same reason as why I put um, Gale Wing so low. It just doesn't trigger as often as you think it does. It's good on Sableye or Grimmsnarl. I'll give you that, yeah. It's good on those Pokemon. I just don't think it's higher than A tier. Pressure is pretty garbage. Um, although PP stalling can be nice, so it's definitely not C tier. I, I think pressure can be useful in certain in certain games. When you need to PP stall. PP stalling is a valid strat. Primordial C is too uncommon. Prism armor is too uncommon, right? What the hell is Propeller Tail? I hardly know her tail, dude. Come on. It ignores target redirection. So it allows Barrasco to ignore Storm Drain in a double battle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Protean is obviously really good. It changes your ability into the move, uh, your type into the move that you're using. So you have stab on every move. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> and like very versatile typing. That's a very good ability. It's not S plus. Uh, Psychic Surge is too uncommon. Punk Rock. So yeah, Punk Rock increases sound based damage by 30% and you take half damage from da sound based moves. It's not bad. It's okay. Uh, Boom Burst does a lot of damage with this. So it's a good amount of it's a good amount of damage. I'll put it like here. Oh, it also gets overdrive. That is a lot of damage actually. I'll put it in S tier. Pure power is um, obviously really good. It's the reason that Metachamp hits as hard as it does. Where did I put huge power? It's like up here. The thing is like obviously in a vacuum it's insane, but only Metacham gets it. And Metacham's base attack isn't insane, so. It just, it, 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 if it didn't have pure power, it would obviously be bad, but it's only on Metacham. So like, it obviously contributes to this Pokemon being really good and it would be much worse if it didn't have it, but it doesn't like completely like break the way that you play. Queenly Majesty prevents some sh I don't remember what. Oh, it's, it, so it's the same as um, Dazzle, right? It's the same ability, right? Quick Feet is guts, but for speed. It's good on, um, it's good on Ursaring, but I'd still rather have Guts. I think it's just A tier. It's really good on Ursaring though. It just doesn't have like the explosive damage that Guts does. Rain Dish is healing in Rain, um, which is better than healing in... This is actually a really good ability, I think, because Rain is much easier to get than Hail and it's much more useful than Hail. I think Rain Dish is a low A tier. Rattled is, yeah, if you're hit by a move that a psychic type would be weak to, you get a speed boost. <laughs> it's, I mean like, it's, whatever dude. It's B tier, it's okay. Receiver. So if a, if a Pokemon faints, so is it's the same as, as Power of Alchemy, huh? Fantastic, okay. Uh, Reckless increases damage of recoil moves, which is quite good. Uh, especially on like Staraptor, if you get it in a ROM hack, Reckless Staraptor, Brave Bird, insane amount of damage, really huge. I think it's A tier. Refrigerate uh, turns normal type moves into ice type moves. Ice type moves are and boosts their power. Ice type moves are really good. I think they're better than Fairy type or Electric type moves. So I'm gonna put them here. Um, Regenerator is. The only other ability in the game that I would consider putting an S plus tier, I do think it is just S tier though. So Regenerator heals you when you switch, which is insane. It's it, it's so good. <laughs> With like U-turn and sh If you're playing Itemless, 
This is like one of the most consistently easy ways to deal, heal your Pokemon. If you're Nuzlocking, you're switching a lot. The reason I don't think it's S plus is because the Pokemon that get it aren't like insane. It's just really, really, really good. Like me and Xiao isn't defensive enough to use it to use it, and Audino just doesn't have enough uh, enough tools to use it either. I think it's re I guess it's it's maybe really really good on slow, bro. I, I I'm still gonna put it in S tier. I think it's the best S tier ability. I just don't think it's game breaking like Drizzle or Poison Heal. Uh, Ripen doubles the effects from Held Berries. It's okay. We take those. <laughs> Double citrus berry is not bad. It's not great though. Rivalry reduces your damage against Pokemon of the same gender and increases it against Pokemon of the other gender. No, it's the other way around, I think. I don't know. I think if you're female, you'll do more damage to female Pokemon. Uh, I actually think it's not useless because you can control because you can look up beforehand what gender your opponent's gonna be if you don't play blind. Um, so in certain fights it can be like really good actually. I actually think it's like a pretty good ability. I think it's like high B tier if you like plan ahead. Uh, RKS system is the same as multi-type, right? It just makes you change types depending on your held item. I mean like it's what makes this Pokemon good, <laughs> I guess. So I'll put it in high B tier. I'll actually put it in mid A tier. It's kind of like imposter. Rockhead, no recoil is really good. <laughs> Not having to take recoil is really, really strong because recoil moves are very good. I think Rockhead is definitely an A tier ability. Rough skin is the same as Iron Barbs, except it's on way worse Pokemon to have it. Um, I think Ferrothorn does so much more things with Iron Barbs than all the rough skin Pokemon do with rough skin, so I'm going to put it quite a bit lower. Runaway. It's not D tier, it's not completely useless, but it's very, very niche. Sand Force makes you do more damage in sand. It's okay. I think setting up sand is just a little bit too hard. Like, if, if you're setting up it yourself, why aren't you just using Swords Dance, right? So you're only using this with a sand stream Pokemon, which I think is just too niche. But if you do get it, it's kind of nice. Uh, sand Rush increases your speed in sand, which is better because you don't because normally the Pokemon that have Sand Rush don't have a don't have a way of boosting their speed. I guess unless you're in Gen 8 and you use Rapid Spin, right? I think this ability is quite a bit better. I would put this in like high B tier. It's still very niche. Sand Spit is Sandstorm when you get hit, which isn't great, but it's also not. It's just a little bit less consistent than just having Sand Stream. So I'll put it in like low B. And now Sand Stream. Now this is really good. It's actually not that hard to build like a team that benefits from Sandstorm, but it, it can also be a hindrance, right? Because sometimes you want to put Titar on a team, but you can't have that team be like a sand team. Like the thing with Drizzle is like, it's kind of hard for you to have a team that gets super hurt by Drizzle. It's really easy for a Sandstorm team to be that. And sand is just also not even remotely as good of a weather condition. Sure, you have the shit like Sand Veil and Sand Rush, but like that shit is so rare uh, com compared to how common like Pokemon that vibe with, with Rain are. I think Sand Stream is like a low A tier, maybe. Sand Veil, I mean, is good. It can be useful, but it's pretty inconsistent. I'll put it in like low B, mid B, I think. It's usually like just not an ability. The thing, I think the thing with Sand Stream is that it makes Tyranitar on its own really good. Um, because it increases your special defense in Gen 4 Plus, which is really nice. I'll put it a little bit higher. Sap Sipper makes you immune to grass type moves and gives you a little bit of a boost, which is nice. Um, although being immune to grass type isn't as good as being immune to electric type attacks or water type attacks. So I'll put it like in like mid A, low A. Uh, schooling is literally the only thing that makes this Pokemon good. <laughs> so I'll put it alongside Imposter here. Although I think the, the Pokemon, the Wishy Washy in general is probably worse than Imposter Ditto. So I'll actually put it like here. Scrappy is okay. Being able to hit ghost types is kind of nice. Um, especially because normal types are very good counters to ghost types. I think Scrappy is a high B tier ability. Screen Cleaner. 
If you if we spend one million points to make you play league, will you play league with the person that spent the million? I would rather never stream again. When a Pokemon Scream Cleaner is sent out, the effect of screen light screen reflect or will end on both sides of the field. That's so niche. That's probably more often bad for you than good. Because it just means that you can't use screens if you have this Pokemon on your team. I'm gonna put this actually in like I'll put it in T tier, I guess. Um, Serene Grace is really good. Serene Grace doubles the chance for, for random chance moves to proc. So for flinch on air slash, for paralysis on thunderbolt, etc. And those chances become really significant. I think it's an S tier ability. 60% um, flinch off of air slash. It's a really good ability. Uh, Shadow Shield is too uncommon. Shadow Tag is the same as Arena Trap, except it's only on Wobbuffet. I guess it's sometimes on Gothitel, so I'll rate it the same. But the only use in a Nuzlocke is pretty much trapping teleport encounters. Shed Skin is okay. Having a chance to cure status conditions is nice. It's kind of it's kind of good with um, Rest. I think I'll put it alongside like Early Bird. I think it's kind of similar to that. I think Limber, I, I don't think it's actually that good. I think Limber is a little bit better than I'm giving it credit for. I think Comatose is quite good. I think Insomnia is a lot better. I don't know, something like this. Insomnia is probably A tier, dude. The orders are really messed up here. Sure Force is really good. Sure Force removes the chance of these ran of the random effects to happen that we just talked about with Stirring Grace, but it increases your damage by 1.3 which is really good, that's a lot of damage. And for some reason, somehow it makes Life Orb not deal damage to you, which is a nice bonus. So I think it's like an A tier ability for sure. It's a lot of damage. Shell Armor is the same as Battle Armor, S tier. Not being able to be crit means you can play a lot, 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 a lot more flexibly. <laughs> means you get a pretty much a free hit off of every fight that you use that Pokemon in. Shield Dust prevents those things. It's like giving your opponent Sheer Force, but without the damage boost. Can't get paralyzed by thunderbolts, can't get flinched by air slashes. That's pretty good. B tier. I think it's probably better than clear body. Shields down is like the only ability that makes this Pokemon viable, right? I think shields down is a little bit too hard to <laughs> evaluate, but it's like the only thing that makes this Pokemon a medi Meteor viable. But I mean, Meteor isn't that good. I'll put it like here because without it, it would be complete garbage, right? Simple is really good. Doubling all status changes is more often really good for you than it isn't. Like simple Calm Mind Swoobat is like insane. I almost want to put it in S tier, but I think the Pokemon that get it are a little bit too bad. So I'm going to put it in like high A tier. Dude, I don't know. The ordering of this is completely messed up, but you guys get the point. It's really hard to order this many, though, at this much. Shit. Skill Link is also really good. It makes multi hit moves always hit five times. It's really good on Minchino. It's really good on like Cloister with um, Icicle Spear. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of good damage increase. I like it a lot. Uh, slow start is obviously bad for you, so it's an F tier. Slush Rush is Speed and Hail, which is really niche, but if you do get it, it's kind of nice. I don't think it's as good as Sand Rush, just because Ice types suck. Sniper increases your crit damage. It's really good before Gen 6, and then after Gen 6, it's still pretty okay. Um, I, when I say really good, I mean, uh, it's it's okay. <laughs> it's just way too inconsistent. It's almost like Anger Point, where you have to rely on crits for it to be good, and sometimes it's overkill anyway. You know what? I actually think this ability is <laughs> Yeah, I actually think Sniper is just shit, unless you can combo it with some crazy stuff, so. And the crazy stuff only becomes after Sniper has gotten nerfed and damaged, so. I'm gonna put it in a low B tier here. Snow Cloak is Sand Veil, but in Hail, and I think that's worse. So I'm gonna put it in, where did I put Sand Veil? I'm gonna put it like here, low B. Snow Warning is not bad. I think it's definitely much worse than Sandstream. Finding a team that works with Hail is so hard. It just means that like Abomasnow can't miss blizzards and does extra damage because of hail, which is nice. So I'm going to put it in A tier. I, don't, I, I think it's the worst weather ability by far. Solar power increases damage in sun, but makes you take damage back. I think that's a little bit too niche to be considered good. Like, can you set up sun yourself? Yes. But at that point, I don't know. It's, it's, it's probably okay, but yeah, it's, it's okay on Zard, probably. Yeah, the payoff for solar power isn't that good. Solid Rock makes you take less damage from super effective moves, which is actually really useful. That is a good 
fucking ability. Um, I'm gonna put that in A tier for sure. Is it just filter? Yes, but it's on Rhyperior, which uh, makes it better. <laughs> Where did I put filter? Filter is like here, right? Or solid rock is like here. Soul heart is too uncommon. Soundproof makes you take no damage from sound moves. I think that's too niche, but I think it's, it's, it is an immunity, so it's good enough to like sometimes be a thing. Speed boost is really good. Speed boost with baton pass is busted. Um, speed boost on Blaziken is obviously busted. It's what makes Ninjask like... The thing with Ninjask though is like it's already like one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So it doesn't need speed boost. It's obviously completely busted on Blaziken though. Yeah, Ninjask gets level up baton pass. So I think I'm actually going to put it in S tier. It makes both of the Pokemon that get it really strong. I guess the only Pokemon that isn't like completely busted with it is like Sharpedo. And yeah, and Mega too. I, I still think it's S tier. Just because of Ninjask and, and Blaziken. What the f*** is Stakeout? Doubles the power of moves used against target that have switched this turn. I, I just don't... Cause same reasoning as Arena Trap. The AI, like, never switches. It's just not useful. Stall... I think Stall is just bad, right? It just means that you always move last. I just don't think there's a use for it. I think it's probably F tier. Yeah, because they don't get, like, U-turn or Volt Switch or anything that would actually be good with it. <laughs> Stalwart. Oh, it's the same as f the Propeller thing, except it's worse because he, because this Pokemon doesn't even have, Duraludon doesn't even have, like, a stab move that gets affected by a redirecting ability. So, basically no ability. Stamina. Uh, increases your defense when you get hit by a move, right? That's really good. I think that's an A-tier ability. It's worse than Fluffy, I think. Uh, stance change is... I mean, like, you... It's, I, I guess it's S tier. Because, obviously, Aegislash doesn't work without it. And it makes Aegislash, like, super insane. It makes Aegislash... Yeah. I, yeah, I, I think it's just S tier. Yeah. The thing is, like, that's what makes this... It's it's really weird. Because it's what makes this Pokemon this Pokemon. It's so weird to rate. I don't think it's S plus, though. Static is nice. Static is better than the other contact moves because like Magnet Pull, it allows you to influence what encounters you get. It gives you a 50% chance of, of encountering an electric type. The only thing is like if you have static, you already have an electric type and you don't necessarily usually need two. Um, unlike with steel types where like steel types are always just really good. I think it's a good ability. It's like up here somewhere. It's better than Cute Charm for sure. I actually think it's better than Flame Body or Cursed Body. Dead fast. It like increases your speed when you get flinched or some shit. It's so bad. <laughs> it's just so niche. I don't know. Steam engine increases your speed when you get by a water type move. I know this is like crazy in doubles because you like use surf with a sneasel or some shit. When it by a fire or water move, its speed is increased by six stages. That's actually pretty good. Like that's actually a good ability. Getting hit, switching into a fire type move is not that hard. And then you sweep and this Pokemon is good against fire types. This is a good ass ability. Steel worker turns something into steel type moves or some shit. I don't remember. Oh, just boost the, oh, it gives you steel type stab basically. I, it's just that steel type moves aren't that good, right? That's not really great. Steely spirit. The steel type moves used by a Pokemon with this ability and its allies will receive a power boost of 50%. Oh, so it gets double stab on steel type moves and its allies get more. That's pretty, that's a pretty good power increase. Steel type moves aren't that good, but it's definitely up there. A tier for sure, for sure. Stench does nothing, right? In battle. Oh, it has a 10%. Oh yeah, in Gen 5 plus it, it's King's Rock. That's actually okay. It's a King's Rock. King's Rock would be like here. Sticky hold makes your item unthievable. That's basically like not having an ability in my opinion, but I'll put it here because sometimes it can be useful, I guess, technically. Storm drain is really good from gen five onwards when it actually gives you a water type immunity and it's on Pokemon that really benefit from it. I think it's actually the second best immunity ability and I'll give it S tier. Strong jaw increases power on fang moves, which is good. Good. It's a nice, easy power increase. Um, it's probably down here somewhere. Sturdy is a complete garbage in Gen 3 and 4 and is then really good in Gen 5. It's like a recoverable focus sash. That's like so good. With healing items, this ability is crazy. Um, so I'm going to put it in S tier. But under the condition that this is Gen 5 plus Sturdy, Gen 4 Sturdy is basically D tier because it only works on 
what well, actual one of moves uh suction cups has a use because it makes you not um get roared but it's really not that much of a use uh super luck increases your crit rate which is okay um surge surfer oh double speed electric terrain on a f raichu who f cares <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, swarm is bug type blaze. Bug type moves are much worse than even grass type moves. So I'll put it like here. Sweet Veil prevents the Pokemon with this ability and its allies from falling asleep. So it's like insomnia, but better because it's in double battles. That's pretty good. Swift Swim is really good because rain is really easy to set up, especially because you're a water type, so you just rain dance and you've effectively used a special type dragon dance on your surf or just a physical dragon dance if you if you use if you're using waterfall. Because you're increasing your damage by 50% and you're doubling your speed, so it's even better than a dragon dance. I think Swift Swim is a great ability because Rain Dance TM is really common. I actually think Rain Swift Swim might be an S tier ability. Symbiosis. The held item immediately after an ally's item is consumed, the Pokemon with Symbiosis will pass the item. Oh, we almost did a strat with this in Radical Red. I remember now. <laughs> this is so niche. It's monkey tier, yeah. Synchronize is okay. Passing over a status condition that you yourself also receive is like, it's nice, but I'd rather be just immune to that status condition. Tangled Feet does what? If you're confused, all moves against you have your accuracy halved. I'm putting this in C tier. When the f are you confused? <laughs> uh, tangling hair is the same as that other speed ability that we rated, right? Oh uh, yeah, it decreases speed on contact. I think that's a pretty good ability though. Although it's not as good on a frail Pokemon, a frail and fast Pokemon like Doug Trio. So I'm gonna put it a little lower. I think tangling hair is like here. Technician is really good. It's a good damage increase on really good moves. Love Technician. I don't think it's S tier. I, I think it's just like a really good damage increase on like useful moves, usually. Telepathy makes you not deal damage to your, to the Pokemon next to you in double battles. I think that's actually, the Pokemon that get it almost never get moves that actually like benefit from that. So I'm actually gonna just put it in C tier. Terra Volt is too uncommon, but it's just Mold Breaker. Thick Fat is really good. Gaining two resistances is really nice. I don't think it's S tier, but I think it's, it's definitely A tier for sure. Cause most Pokemon that get it also benefit from it a lot. Tinted Lens, basically nothing resists your moves almost, which is, Kind of nice. Um, you just deal regular damage or whatever. It's a good damage increase. I think it's an A tier ability for sure. Gives you really easy, a really easy way of getting good coverage. Torrent, uh, we talked about Blaze and we talked about Overgrow, but basically gaining 50% damage if you're at one third HP. That's pretty good if you can play around it properly. I think it's the best of the three because water types are the best type out of the three. Uh, Tough Claws just increases damage on contact moves. I don't think I have to talk about that. That's like a good damage increase. Toxic Boost is like Guts, but only for poison, right? That's really good. Is that S tier? If, if, if Guts is S tier and like Zangus gets Facade. Yeah, it, it, the thing is Zangus just isn't as fast as Swellow or as, um, as other Guts users. So it can't abuse it as much, but it can still abuse it quite a lot. Okay, um... Trace copies the opponent's ability. That can be good, that can be useless. Um, it's like high B tier, I think. I actually think it's like mid A tier. I think it's like really useful in a lot of spots. Uh, Transistor is DLC, I don't know. Triage gives you priority on healing moves, including like drain moves. I think that's pretty good. I think that's an A tier ability. Truant is obviously bad because it only lets you attack every other turn. Turbo Blaze is too uncommon. Unaware makes you unaware to status changes, which is actually really useful. Not status changes, I'm sorry, uh, stat changes. So if you're, it's like one of the only ways to prevent like an insane Dragon Dance sweep. So I actually think it's like A tier. Um, it's a little niche because you don't face a lot of setup mods, but if you do, having an unaware Pokemon can like save your ass. Unburden makes you faster when you consume your item. Who cares, right? Sometimes it's good, I guess. But most Pokemon that get unburdened are super fast anyway. I'll put it in A tier, I guess. I think it can be really good, but I'll put it in high B tier. I think it's a little bit too niche. Unnerve does like nothing, right? Oh, it makes... Enemy Pokemon unable to eat berries. Who cares? <laughs> I'll put it in low B, I guess. 
Um, unseen Fist is too uncommon. Victory Star is too uncommon. Vital Spirit is the same as Insomnia, except I think it's, I guess I'm putting, I don't know, it's essentially the same. Um, except it's on different Pokemon. Volt Absorb is a really good immunity ability. One of the best in the game. It's honestly S tier. Um, healing is really good. Messing with the AI is really good. You can do a lot of like crazy pivoting. I'll also put Water Absorb up there while I'm talking about it. Healing yourself off of enemy uh, attacks is really busted. Especially because the AI gets really confused at these uh, abilities. Uh, what the f Wandering Spirit. When a Pokemon with this ability is hit by a contact move, it will switch between it and the target. Mummy, but it swaps. I have no idea if that's good. <laughs> There's like probably some really niche f double battle sh you can do with it, but it's probably two niche and it's never gonna happen in an actual Nuzlocke, so I'll put it in low B tier. Water Bubble. It's like a really good damage increase, right? Dude, that's a huge increase. It's like actually insane how much more damage you do with water bubble. It just doubles your water type moves. That's really insane. I'm gonna put this in S tier. Yeah, you also can't get burned. I'm putting this in S tier. Water compaction plus defense when you hit by a water type move. I don't think people are looking at Sandy Gas and going, yeah, that's why this Pokemon is good. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. It's like mid B tier. I don't really care. Water Veil. Just prevents you from getting burned, right? It's just not very good. Especially on the Pokemon that get it, which are probably not getting burned a lot in the first place. It's like down here somewhere. Along with immunity. Weak armor is so sh <laughs> I'm sorry. Weak armor is so sh So if you get hit by a physical move, you your defense goes down and your speed goes up. <laughs> I think it's actually like F tier. I think it's almost never good. I'll put it in D tier? No, I think it's usually just bad. I'm, I'm putting it in F tier. I don't know. I guess getting plus speed on like a scar. No, no way. No way is this good. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't see it. White smoke is the same as clear body, except it's on worse Pokemon. Um, wimp out. It's emergency exit. I, I except it's like on a really bad Pokemon, right? <laughs> putting it in C tier. And then we have Wonder Guard. This is really hard to place, but I have to put it in S tier because this Pokemon is completely useless without Wonder Guard. <laughs> and it becomes a usable Pokemon with Wonder Guard. Well, I guess technically I do ban Shedinja and Nuzlocke because I think it's a little game breaking. And um, because being able to plan around, but like that's because of the way I play. Um, I think if you play like blind or like randomizers or something, I think Shedinja isn't actually ban worthy. So I'm putting it in S tier. I think I think Shedinja just makes you play really boring Nuzlocke, which is why I banned them. I don't think it's actually like that insanely good. It's just the fights that it is good on become really f boring. Dude, Wonder Skin is so good. It basically it it basically you know how in um, Gen One there was a chance for enemy status moves to fail. It basically brings that back. It makes enemy status moves have a fifty percent chance to miss. And then Zen Mode, which is the only ability to start with a Z. I don't know how to rate this. It like changes Darmanitan's mode. Yeah, there's also two different versions of Zen Mode, which is really weird. I'm just gonna put it in, don't know. It's too weird to rate. Wow, what an unsatisfying end to the video. Well, this is it. This is the ability tier list. Uh, we got the only S plus ones are Drizzle and Poison Heal. And then this is the S tier. This is the A tier. This is the B tier. This is the C tier, this is the D tier, and this is the F tier. These I don't know, and these are too uncommon. Wow! Amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you leave a like and a comment, and uh, bye! I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube. Jesus. Okay, that took three and a half hours.